my name is tarun agrawal assistant professor in biani group of colleges today i will discuss the topic of turing machine in theory of computation on behalf of guru kpu.com in turing machines in turing machine basically we have discussed the, what is the what is the definition of turing machines and what is the uh, what is uh, what is the turing machine actually first of all we'll we will discuss first of all i will uh, i will discuss about the i will the uh, about the push down automata push down automata have some drawbacks to overcome this drawbacks we will use we will use turing machine concept so what is the drawbacks of push down automata actually the drawbacks of push down automata is uh, push down automata is allowed only one comparison if we have two one if we have two comparison in push down automata then push down then then we can we, we cannot construct the push down automata actually to overcome this drawbacks we use turing machines turing machines is allow one or more comparisons one or two or three or n comparisons to construct the automata the turing machine is the concept to to turing machine is the concept to construct the automata of any comparison of any comparison in between the symbols in between the strings so what is turing machine actually turing machines basically turing machine basically is a is a uh, is a concept of design the automata over the language which have which consist of one or more comparison so basically uh, turing machines have the theoretical idea of turing machine is it consists uh, uh, this is the uh, in uh, this is the tape this is the tape which consists of the symbols or alphabets a a b b capital b is denoted as the blank symbols which is identify the ending of the string into the tape so this is the tape this is the finite control which reads one by one uh, the basic functionality of the turing machine is we can we can we we have we have read write capability we have read write capability second is second is turn around capability we can move in both direction in turing machine basically we can move in both direction it it will be left or right but but uh, but another automata like uh, finite automata or push down automata we can move only in forward directions but in turing machines we can move in both directions it uh, left or left or uh, left left and backward and forward turing machines basically uh, uh, have the language is recursive enumerable language the language behind the turing machine is recursive enumerable language and by default turing machine is non deterministic turing machine actually the base uh, turing machine consists of types of turing machine is same as the finite automata first is language recognize second is output generator and third is language generator what is the language recognize language recognize means if you are applying the input the output will generate in the form of yes or no if you are applying the input output will generate in the form of yes or no output generator means that the category of the output generator is if you are applying the input then output will generate if you are applying the input output will generate and last language generator language generator means if you are giving the input the language will generate language will generate in the form of alphabets like epsilon a a b this is called language generator now the category of turing machine what are the category of turing machine two category we have two category of the turing machine which is deterministic turing machine dtm means deterministic turing machine and another is non deterministic turing machine by default turing machine is by default turing machine if you are construct the turing machine that means you are constructing the non deterministic turing machine actually to convert this non deterministic to deterministic we, can, we cannot construct we cannot construct the deterministic turing machine you know about the deterministic or non deterministic as before discuss in lectures so we can construct by default non deterministic turing machine non deterministic turing machine is also further consist of two category two types first is halting turing machine we will discuss about the halt what is the halting turing machine the category of the turing machine is halting turing machine and second is non halting turing machine the types of non deterministic turing machine is first is halting turing machine and second is non deterministic sorry non halting turing machine if the string is generated is halting turing machine halting turing machine consist of recursive language recursive language and non deterministic non deterministic non halting turing machine consist of recursive enumerable language 
तो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स इज वाट इज द रिकर्सिव लैंग्वेज एंड वाट इज रिकर्सिव एनवेरेबल लैंग्वेज वाट इज द डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन बोथ रिकर्सिव लैंग्वेज एंड रिकर्सिव एनवेरेबल लैंग्वेज रिकर्सिव लैंग्वेज मीन्स रिकर्सिव लैंग्वेज मीन्स रिकर्सिव लैंग्वेज इज अ कैटेगरी ऑफ द हल्टिंग टूरिंग मशीन इफ यू आर इफ यू आर क्रिएटिंग द हल्टिंग टूरिंग इफ यू आर क्रिएटिंग द हल्टिंग टूरिंग मशीन दैट मीन्स यू आर अपलाइंग यू आर यूजिंग द रिकर्सिव लैंग्वेज तो रिकर्सिव लैंग्वेज मीन्स इफ यू आर अपलाइंग द इनपुट यू आर यूजिंग रिकर्सिव लैंग्वेज द आउटपुट विल जनरेट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ यस एंड नो If you are applying the recursive language, the output will generate in the form of yes and no. But in recursive animal language means, if you are applying the input, if you are applying the input, the output, if you are applying the input, the output will generate. If it is yes, then okay. If it is yes, then okay. If it is no, that means it will it will goes through it will goes to infinite. It will goes to it will goes to the infinite. If you are applying the input in recursive animal language, if you are if the output is yes, okay. If the output is no, that means it will go. It will goes to the infinite. It will goes to the infinite loop. We can say infinite loop. This is the this is the main difference between recursive language and recursive enumerable language. This is the main difference between recursive language and recursive enumerable language. And then what is the relationship between recursive language and recursive enumerable language? Means this is the relationship between recursive language and recursive enumerable language. we can say all the recursive language or we can say all the recursive language are the recursive enumerable language but we cannot say the recursive all the recursive enumerable language are the recursive language this is the relationship of the recursive language and recursive enumerable language all the recursive language are the recursive enumerable language but not we cannot say the all the recursive language are the recursive language now the formal definition of turing machine is the turing machine is consist of seven tuples What are the seven tuples? Are the seven tuples are Q, epsilon, del, Q zero, F, B, B four blank symbol, and the, this is the tape alphabet. Q is the finite number of state. Epsilon is input alphabet. Del means transition function. Q zero is initial state, and F is set of final state. Because you we we know that we uh, the our automata is consist uh, can be consist consist of number of final state. So F is set of final states. B is blank symbols. Blank symbol is denoted denoted as the ending of the strings. We are the ending point of the. We have the ending point of the strings. A string is already uh, re, already read by the finite control. This is the tape alphabet. Tape alphabet means the, uh, which inputs we are applying, which inputs are applying, which inputs we are reading from the alphabet. So the tape alphabet. This is the transition functions. Q is a present state, and this is the tape alphabet. And if you are applying the tape alphabet, if you are applying the tape tape alphabet, this Q will denote the next state. You are you are uh, next state from present state to next. And L or R denoted as the left left movements or right movements, forward or backward movements. Okay. What is the uh, what is what is the example of the Turing machine? The example of Turing machine is. If you have this is the example of Turing machine A N B N N C P N and M is greater than equal to one and P is greater than two. That means we have the two comparison in between the alphabets. One comparison and this is the second comparison. If you are if you are construct the push down automata or other automata, then we cannot construct this. Uh, we can we cannot the construct the automata for this language. We can construct only Turing machine if you have the two comparison. This is the main. theme of the turing machine thanks for watching this video please like comment and share